All right, guys, what's up? Uh, I was just making, I was working on a beat, and uh, I got to this part where I wanted to add a drop before it actually kicks in, you know? And I figured I'd make a video about it because I couldn't figure this out for the longest time, you know, because I used to use FL and I switched to Logic. But uh, now I got the same things I wanted from Logic. So first I'm going to play the clip, and then I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. So uh, it's about right here is where it starts. Like this is the part I'm talking about. Right here. That little tape, the little stutter effect on the tape stop. Or should I do that? All right, this is how I do it. So basically I went and deleted all the settings I had so I can show you how. First thing you wanna do is open up your mixer window. You're gonna have all your, you know, all your channels right here. You want to go to options and then go to create new auxiliary channel strips. Click that. Make sure the format is set to stereo because it's going to all your sounds that are going to be in the drop are going to get linked to it. And click create. Should make it down here. First thing I'll do is name it. So I'm going to name this the um, tape stop drop. All right. Now, right here, it's going to be your ins and your outs. You want your input to be bus one, and then this, the out is going to be the stereo out. Now, since this is on bus one, you want to send all the, the channels that are going to be a part of the drop to bus one. So basically, we're right here where it says stereo out. You're going to go bus one. See how it says tape stop drop? You're gonna send all of them. Anything that has to do with, that you want on the drop. So the brass, the, the bells, the hits, the melody, those are all gonna to go to that bus. So do that. Okay, now that you have everything sent to that bus, you're gonna to go to your auxiliary track and you're gonna put the insert effectrix. So you wanna to go to audio units, Sugar Bites, Effectrix, Stereo. Make sure, right here on the volume, that it's turned to zero. So when you play, it actually has volume. It's called Unity Gain. Okay. Now I'm not going to explain how Effectrix works all the way because, you know, you can read the manual for that. It's pretty simple. You put it, there's all these different effects right here. And you, you put it in and it'll play with your grid. So basically you just map out where you want the effect to work. So let's say for, you know, for, for half a bar, let's put in the tape stop. So that's gonna be the vinyl. And we're just gonna put that. We're just gonna roll it all the way across. So now when you play with this on, you should hear this. See how it works it actually uh it goes and it does the tape stop every now and then we don't want that we want to have it just happen at the end of one bar so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the right type of tape stop we need like the right sound so i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to mess with the settings until i get the good desirable effect okay Okay, so the first thing we do is we're going to change the time. Right now, it's at one eighth, and it, it's a little bit too fast. We're going to want to slow that down to maybe one fourth. Maybe, maybe slower. Let's try. It. Okay, yep. So we'll do one, one half t, and then the slope is going to determine that the the EQ, like how how high up in pitch or how low in pitch it is when it does it. I'm just going to leave it around 55. Now, we want to have a fast attack, fast release. We're going to mix that 100%. Now we have the desired sound we want. So we're going to come 
back to the part where we want it to actually happen. Right here. I want it to happen right here before the drums kick in. So right there. So the first thing you do is you go to your mixer and you disable it. You're gonna so you're gonna hold Alt and then click on the plugin and it'll, it'll bypass it. You can press bypass here too, but that's just how I'm used to it. So now that you have that bypassed, you won't you won't hear it. Okay, good. So now you want to right click it where it says tape stop and then go to create select arrange track. And what that does is it sends it to your, your your track out right here, your tracks. So now you have this the sound right here. Now we're going to press A to open the automation. And now right here you're going to see the automation. You're going to change it from volume to main insert bypass one. Since we have it bypassed already, what we're going to do is when we we're going to automate it so that it turn the bypass gets turned off when we when it gets to this part. And since we only want to be on this bar, we're going to time it only on bar eight to nine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw just the two dots real quick. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. I'm going to draw it right here. So now we're just going to grab this. We're just going to drop it. Oh, drop this one and just drop it down. Zoom in more and make sure they're on the lines. See how this one isn't exactly on the eight. It doesn't have to be exact, but I just I just like doing it that way. I'm going to drag this one over. Boom. Okay. Now, what that should do is whenever it gets to this part, of the the automation it'll it'll the bypass will turn on and then you'll be able to hear the just the drop for right here and then it'll go back to being bypassed so let's start it from the beginning great it's just what we wanted to do right there so now that you know that that's cool and all, but it's still a little bit bland, right? So let's add something else to it to make it a little bit better. I'm gonna add a stutter effect, and basically what that's gonna do, it's gonna give it like a like a it's just gonna stutter before the drop. So you'll hear it something like this. And that's how you do the drop. So let's hear it one last time. Cool. All right. Go ahead and subscribe. You know, just stay stay active, and I'll I'll keep posting more videos up. If you guys like them, give me ideas on what to post about. I'll see what I could do. Thanks.